Okay, so in this video, what I want to do is I want to go from the compound angle formulae to look at the double angle formulae, okay? Now, the double angle formulae are, well, expressions for sine of 2x, cos of 2x, and tan of 2x. So, sine of 2x, now you can write that as sine of x plus x. So, we can use the compound angle formula here. If A is x and B is x, then I can say that this is sine x cos x. I was right. Sine x cos x plus, so plus, cos x sine x. Now, because sine x cos x is the same as cos x sine x, this is the same as 2 sine x cos x. And so you have the double angle formula, sine 2x is 2 sine x cos x. Okay? One to remember. Either that or you can work it out from the compound angle formula. Okay? So what about cos of 2x? Well, if you use the same method, that's cos of x plus x. So we're going to have cos x, cos x. Now, because that's a plus, we're going to have a minus there, sine x, sine x. So cos 2x is cos squared x minus sine squared x. OK. Now, the thing is that in its current form like that, it's not actually particularly useful. It's more use if we replace the cos squared with 1 minus sine squared to get 1 minus 2 sine squared x, or we replace the sine squared with 1 minus cos squared. So that's 2 cos squared x minus 1. These two are actually more useful. OK? But it is worth knowing cos squared minus sine squared as well. OK? Don't not learn it. So all of these are useful. And then finally, you've got tan of 2x. OK, so using a similar approach, we can write that as tan of x plus x. So that will be tan x plus tan x over 1 minus, because that's a plus, tan x, tan x. So we've got uh, 2 tan x in the numerator and 1 minus tan squared in the denominator. And there is my last double angle formula. OK? So these, although you can work them out, using the compound angle formulae are much more useful to you uh, if they are readily available. So I would make it um, a priority to get them memorised.